I'm Michael Hull from Ice Culture. Uh, we're an ice company out of Hensel, Ontario. Uh, we make crystal clear blocks of ice for sculpting and for a whole pile of other purposes as well too. So actually we use these things called climb bell machines and how they work is they actually freeze from the bottom up in the water. Your ice cubes at home, when you put the tray in there, you're actually freezing all the way around the water, right? So you actually trap all the air and all the impurities in the water itself when you freeze it like that. So when you pull your ice cubes out, you've got that white stuff in the center and that's actually air that you've trapped in there. Ours, as you freeze from the bottom up, it actually pushes all that air and all the impurities to the top and then we just cut about an inch off the top of the block and you got a crystal clear block of ice. It varies one of our favorite ones. We've been doing it for a long, long time and we've got a really good uh, rapport with uh, the uh, promoters and whatnot here for the Berry Winter Fest and we actually just love coming up here all the stuff that we do and it gets packed here on the Saturday and Sunday you know we usually do stuff like kitty cubes for the kids that's where we freeze a toy inside yeah. of it right and we get out the chainsaws and we cut the ice up and we hand it out to the kids and those that got a sweet tooth too we do the maple taffy and whatnot right so we have a lot of fun with it and you know the, it keeps us coming back especially with the kids and the smiles you see on their face yeah that's the best part they set me up with a molded product at first and then I just kind of worked my way through the, the company one day they handed me a chainsaw and asked me if I wanted to start carving <laughs> so 10 years later here I am <laughs> trial by fire almost yeah then. kind of yeah so and now I'm back out touring all over the place but you know the kids are uh, getting a little bit older now they're actually not even in the home anymore so I can get out and do this stuff all over the world and we work on a client base basically right it's just like here with the Barry Winter Festival all the promoters here they actually sign off on all the sculptures uh, Heidi Bailey is one of our, our designers obviously uh, we have a couple other ones that are in the office as well so we get ideas from them usually most of the time and they they say they would like this or like that it's just like this year it's all about the 150th anniversary of Canada so they said well what do you got so we started pitching them you know the moose the parliament building the snowbirds these kinds yeah. of things that are Canadian right and uh, they would sign off and say okay we want this we want that and want that so most of it once it gets to me it's already set in stone this is what you're carving Mike what we like to say is one block one hour so obviously the more blocks, two, two hours, two blocks, three hours, and so on and so on. And obviously it depends on the piece too. The more detail, obviously the longer it's gonna take you to do, right? And like a lot of the stuff's already pre-carved. We pre-carved it in the studio and whatnot, and then we box it all up and we bring it here. And then we do the odd demo and whatnot while we're here too to show the people, you know, get the chainsaws out and blow some snow and have some fun. Break a sculpture, yeah. that's a good question too. We get asked that quite a bit. Um, well, one of the things you can do, especially in the winter time right now, and it's like, what, minus nine out today, it's really simple. You just put the piece back on, you pour a little bit of water on it, and it sticks and freezes itself right back on. And you can, usually you can just keep carving away that way. As you see right here, uh, right now what we've got is, there's actually, there's this is a two block maze, what we call it. So you got one block on the bottom, another block there, but we actually have a base that we put down to keep everything level on the, on the bottom of it. And when, once we've done it, we've poured water all over it, we actually come back and we'll take some snow and some water or mix it together and make slush and then we'll go in all the cracks and fill all the cracks up because we don't want the air to get in there and the wind to get in there because it will just open that right up right right so we actually just slush it all back up it's just mother nature's glue to us kind of thing it's like making mortar for bricks right same thing yeah we have uh, over the years uh, made up a few tools of our own we use die grinders we use angle grinders uh, we use chainsaws we use chisels pretty much anything that's been used for wood we use as well However, we've changed uh, a bit of some of the bits that we use, like the flutes that are on the bit, that's the cutting edge of it. Mm -hmm. We've actually changed the, how they work so that it actually blows the snow out instead of packing it back in because you can break right. the bit and whatnot. Oh, we actually work right through the summer. Like, we cut back some hours depending on what's going on, but jobs come in that, uh, you know, it just happens. A lot of weddings and stuff like that, bar mitzvahs, these kinds of things that are happening in the summertime that we go out and do. And then, you know, some corporate functions and stuff. We do international jobs. We have uh, been oh geez all over the world uh, one of the couple of guys there in the tent actually were down in Dubai setting up the Dubai ice lounge because we really? built the big ice lounges right we were actually known about bringing ice to the desert uh, people when they first walk in at first they don't know how to take it because it's a little bit cold obviously yeah. you know uh, over in the Middle East right yeah they're used to the hot weather and they actually it's kind of nice to them I think when they walk in it's really funny to see them in parkas though because usually when you go into an ice lounge they give you a parka to throw on right and they give you some little mitts and the mitts actually help because we make what we call ice Iceware. So it's like glassware, but it's made out of ice. We call it iceware. So the mitts actually stick to the ice and help you hold it so it doesn't slip out of your hand and whatnot. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> no worries.